One, can you summarize your feelings about the standardized testing, FSA, SAT, et cetera? Well, I think we're over-testing our children, and I think it's really gotten to the point of ridiculousness. Uh, a, 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 a good test should be designed to simply measure mastery of skills. Uh, it should not be used for punitive purposes. Uh, I believe that we only need to test in core academic subjects. We certainly don't need a test at the end of the course for each and every subject taught in Orange County Public Schools, which in OCPS, that's over a, a thousand different courses. You know, frankly, I, I didn't get a chance to say this today during the panel discussion, but if, if I were king for a day, and one of the things I share with audiences, we would test in third grade, fifth grade, eighth grade, and 11th grade. And we will only test students at that school that had for more than one school calendar year. I, I do think we do need to do some testing because frankly, um, nobody has ever, to my knowledge, come up with a better way of testing mastery of content. But again, we need to look at the validity of the test. We need to look at how we're using the test and what we're using it for. And more, most importantly, we need to take a good hard look as a society and a state at the volume of testing because it's just been overwhelming and soul crushing to our, to our children. You mentioned something about taking a step back, a, a time of quietude surrounding the test. What would that look like? Well, we have advocated both uh, at the Orange County Public School Board, but also the Florida School Boards Association, the Florida Association of School Superintendents, and the Florida Association of District School Administrators, essentially every major educational group in the state, including the PTAs as well, have all advocated that while well, the FSA is being validated, which it has not been done yet, that the results of the FSA not be used in a punitive way against schools or school districts or everything from funding decisions to teacher merit pay decisions. We have also advocated that um, before we use the FSA, because such a big component of school grades and district grades is based on learning gains, you need at least one year of valid administration of that test so you can measure learning gains. And that's what's really just um, crazy, almost in a Lewis Carrollish kind of way about what we're doing with FSA this year is we're using it. The state board just said arbitrary cut lines, and they are very arbitrary. And they're still giving school grades, even though we have no component of learning gains, which I think is really the truest measure of how a school is doing. Are your students making learning gains from the prior year? You cannot do that in the first year of administration of a new test.